so I am feeling a little bit better today <laughs> since the last Facebook Live that I've uh, shared with you, which was on, I think, the day after the invasion of our capital, and I was feeling so much sadness, but also um, the nervous system gets highly charged when, when we're feeling um, under attack, which the whole country was. Even if you believed in what was going on, um, there were, the country was under siege. <clears throat> and uh, we're still experiencing the after effects of that. So I just wanted to come here today as I often do and give a moment or two, uh, maybe five or 10 minutes of uh, breathing today. So grounding and breathing, that's my, my desire to um, bring, bring a little bit of groundedness and peace to whatever it is that you're going through, um, how you're processing the events of the last week in America. And also just it's the beginning of a year, of the new year, and hopefully we're, we're undoing some of that incredible pressure that we all were under with um, the coronavirus of 2020. There are already people getting their vaccines. So, you know, just emotionally and, and energetically, I think things are, are um, uh, lightening up and looking up a little bit for, for all of us throughout the world in the shared experience that we've all had. So I think it'll be many years uh, to unpack what has been going on and how everybody has um, processed having to be under you know, the kind of restraints that we have and wearing masks and all of that. It's something that won't be forgotten. So in the day-to-day, -day, there is a way. <laughs> in the day-to-day, -day, there is a way to really help us come home to ourselves and to process what, what the external um, situation, current events are, and how that affects really the choices that we can make for our um, leadership potential, our way of, um, you know, being in the in community with either one or one another or in a leadership role in community and an influencer's role in community. If that's something that you're really called to um, go deeper with in your own spiritual and personal development. So to that end, we always begin with the body. And the body is, your body is giving you information all the time. You know how you are because your body is speaking to you. <laughs> and it's just really a matter of, are you listening? Are you able to understand the simplicity of the feeling and the somatic experiences that, that your body is uh, telling you. So let's begin just by sitting on your chair, bringing yourself to the front of the chair, pretty close to the front of the chair, and place your feet on the floor and just let yourself quiet down. So we're feeling the quieting of the body and that sense of weight being distributed downward into the sitting bones, into the chair. And you can give you a direction, kind of a mental direction of your legs to ease out away from your hip joints towards your knees. That's an Alexander concept, Alexander technique concept. But it reminds us that our body lives in gravity in this sort of oppositional force field and that we can use uh, nature as it's intended for us, not to tense and tighten the legs when, when you're sitting, but to allow them to just generously, genuinely 
relax and release away from the hip joints and down towards your feet. So you're finding a contact with the floor and using that contact to really feel supported by the floor. Allow your whole torso to free itself, noticing how we hold tension in the body energetically, emotionally in a certain place. So that place could be in the neck, could be in the shoulders, could be in the jaw, or even the furrowed brow. So just notice, take a moment to notice for yourself where you feel like you're holding some excess uh, tension. And see if you can let that go. Maybe close your eyes and begin to notice where you're feeling breath in your body. That feeling of breath will start to give you a sense of your dimensionality. So we're not two-dimensional like stick figures, but we're very full three-dimensional beings. You can expand into that three-dimensionality that you have, that you are. And see if you can let go into length and width and depth within that dimensionality. And then giving yourself the direction of let my neck be free, to let my head ease up away from the spine, to let the whole of the torso expand into length and width, and to let the legs release away. My shoulders are relaxing, my elbows and hands are dropping towards my lap. And I can just pause and quiet myself. Begin to notice more about your breathing. And see if that feels like a quieting or a settling of yourself, your being towards, towards the earth. And now let's do a more esoteric practice in which you imagine the roots of your feet going down and down and down into the center of the earth, that molten center of the earth where you can experience the earth beings, the earth spirits, that elixir, that molten core that grounds you all the way to the center of the earth. And just breathe into that center. And now enrich yourself by drawing on that energy, bringing it back up and up and up, all the way into your feet and your legs, all the way into your body, bringing it up into the heart center. Beautiful earth energy. And now at the same time, we're going to allow for a beautiful energy to pour down from the heavens, the stars above your head, the heaven realms, and allow that infinite light to be seen like a pure white light moving down into the head center, down into the eyes, into the mouth, into the throat, down and reaching the heart center, the same place. And you could see that like a downward facing diamond coming into the heart. 
and see the earth energy as an upward facing diamond so that they're meeting in your heart center. And at that center, the light begins to open and expand and really fill your whole body, fill the aura field around your body and open into the space around you. Above you, below you, and right into your center. And we'll breathe with that in and out. A few full, deep, cleansing and supporting breaths. And now lastly, we'll just sit in this momentary pause. Open, open, open. Freeing yourself more and more. And really anchoring into the beauty of your own sovereignty, the power of existing well within your own body. Beautiful. So that's it for today, and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.